Hey, hey, hey. I wanted to stop by just to, um, sitting outside swatting bugs, but I wanted to stop by just to talk about, um, supporting black businesses, you know, on social media, the news, you know, talking to friends in and out, you know, different places that I go. I hear all the time that, you know, like right now is the time for us to shop black, you know, spend our dollars with our African-American um, brothers and sisters, right? But I wanted to, um, because while I agree with that, I also wanted to just play devil's advocate because the other side to supporting black businesses is this. Some people look for an experience, right? Some people want great customer service, uh, knowledgeable employees, um, pleasant, you know, personalities when they are interacting and engaging it with you, you know, in your businesses. And oftentimes, I have not had the best experiences when it comes to African Americans when supporting, you know, their businesses, whether it's some type of boutique, uh, a service, you know, a lash service, nail service, um, just anything. So I just wanted to put it out there that when it comes to supporting, you know, our sisters and brothers, I understand that we want to keep, you know, our dollars because I saw on the news that African Americans contributed a trillion dollars to the economy. And just imagine if we were able to put that trillion dollars back into our neighborhoods, our schools, our um, communities, you know, our efforts into our education system, um, invested in our children, whatever it is. All, while I understand all of that, I also want to put it out there that my experience with African American businesses are not always on the up and up. You know, I have not received exceptional customer service, um, great products, you know, great service. You know, if I'm getting lashes or um, a massage, sometimes, you know, I have run into um, service renderers that are late. Um, you know, they are, sometimes they have a nasty attitude. And while I understand that we are all people and sometimes we have off days, but you have to consider the customer and put yourself in their shoes. Would you shop with you? Would you buy uh, from you? Would you enjoy this type of service, you know, from someone? And that's always something, you know, that you want to consider. It's an experience. Apple, Google, and all the multi-billion, trillion dollar companies, they offer experiences. So when it comes to us spending our dollars and our cents that we work hard for, we're looking for an exceptional experience. Even if it's, you know, something very small and minute, still the, the amount of effort that you put into the product and, um, the presentation and the packaging and just your overall aura and personality goes a long way when someone is spending their dollar. So I just wanted to put that out there and to think about that. You know, the next time you go and you patronize the business, just actually think about, did I enjoy, you know, my interaction and my engagement with this person? Did I have a quality experience and did I you know purchase a quality product that I could recommend and tell someone else about and if not just think about that you know if you are a business owner just put yourself in in the business owner's shoes and would you want to shop with you like that's that's the biggest question um so I just wanted to share that or whatever um when it comes to shopping black keeping our dollars in our community and things like that you know some of us actually you know look for an experience some of us want exceptional customer service and it's nothing wrong with that but i do you know want our sisters and brothers to uh have a buy-in when it comes to customer service when you're offering products and services to um us you know we have a right to spend our money where we want to so just think about that um and hopefully that'll you know retain some of your customers and increase sales and things of that nature but that's all i got for you guys have a good one.